There's growing concern over a common ingredient in many of our favorite foods. Yes, we're talking about red dye number three. This artificial coloring is found in everything from candy to drinks, but recent studies have raised alarms about its potential health risks. Now the FDA is considering whether to ban it from our food altogether. Joining me live to break down what this means for us, Dr. Alvarez, good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Good morning. We appreciate your time. I know we were talking during commercial. This is getting a lot of attention, making a lot of headlines of recent. Yeah, yes, yes it is, but, but for good reason too. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about what specific health risks this red dye poses for our health. Um, so red dye 3 has been um, associated in children in particular with uh, inducing ADHD type symptoms. Um, about more than half of the studies done so far do show a correlation be between the two. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a big concern. Um, the other big concern is that it has been um, also tied in with uh, cancer in lab rats, mm. especially in high doses, uh, thyroid cancer in, in particular. So those are two big risks and two big concerns that, you know, that, we, that we have. Yeah, very alarming. And then when we factor in, you know, that this could be found in foods, drinks, mm -hmm. a lot of what we are, a lot of our, our, our uh, what we ingest on a daily basis. So it, it is found in, in, in a lot of uh, common things that, that we eat. And because it is a red dye and it can be pretty bright red or pink, um, it's, we do see it in a lot of candy and a lot of uh, foods that are targeted to children because, you know, mm -hmm. children like colorful mm -hmm. things. Those uh, bright, so, yeah. And then that tied in with the fact that it can have the, these ADHD type uh, symptoms, you know, just kind of makes things very challenging. <laughs> so this is really interesting. I, red dye was actually banned from cosmetics back in 1990 uh, here in the US. Why not in our food? Well, so it went it went for FDA approval before uh, it was banned for uh, co cosmetics. So back when it was approved by the FDA for food, there wasn't the research that uh, that was available when they banned it for cosmetics. Mm. Then you're then later on uh, down the line when it comes to approval or it comes for approval for the FDA, now they have more information available and they decide to ban it from cosmetics. They were supposed to go back and uh, revisit the issue for you know the food industry, but they just never Never did, but now that that the, these right. petitions are coming through, now they're going back to look at the research and see, hey, is this something that we need to ban? Yeah, it, it is fascinating to look at the apprehension over the years to see mm -hmm. how you know ban for cosmetics, not for food consumption. It is kind of interesting when you really think about it. Uh, how does this fit into the larger debate, though, when it comes to red dye three? Uh, you mean the larger debate of just synthetic dyes yes, in general? Yes, in food and the potential health impacts that it could have on one's health. Well, so now that we have more research in, in especially the foods uh, that we consume and uh, different synthetics, you know, dyes and uh, sweeteners and things like that, now that we have more research, I think it's a it's a good time to go back and, you know, reevaluate mm -hmm. the safety of uh, of these things that we are consuming. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, yeah, you know, we're looking at red dye three, but then there's a lot of other dyes, like there's there's red 40, there's yellow 4, um, and I think it warrants going back and having a, a look at the research to see is, is this something that we should, you know, cut out from, from our diets. Yeah, and this is more of an aesthetic, right? This has no impact on how this food tastes. Nope. It doesn't yeah. impact taste, it doesn't impact uh, texture, it's purely a cosmetic thing. So it can very easily be replaced. Give us an idea on what the world would look like without red dye 3 in it moving forward. Well, um, I mean, there are already other dyes available for yeah. food and other more natural alternatives. So really, I don't think that it would make a huge impact as far as, you know, availability of certain foods or certain colors. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think things would be relatively unchanged it's just you know we're gonna have to go back or the food industry will have mm -hmm. to go back and reformulate some of those products mm -hmm. are some people sensitive to red dye 3 uh, yeah, so so some people are, are more sensitive to it. There's people that have just have allergies to all these synthetic dyes. Yeah. So I mean, you know, you can develop allergies to them. Right. Um, and then also, like like we spoke about earlier, kids, certain kids are very sensitive to red dye three, and it can cause those ADHD type symptoms. Mm. So yeah. Interesting. I know this is a, a big conversation for a lot of folks, especially families out there mm -hmm. looking to see what this would look like uh, if a ban is put in place. Well, as always, we appreciate your expertise. Thank you so much, Dr. Alvarez, Thank for coming. You.